Welcome to the Solar Decathlon Minute. Coming up, today's midday point leader and a rare inside look into the kitchens and dining rooms of the Solar Village. Here is event director Richard King to introduce today's topic. Some consider this the most important contest of the Solar Decathlon. It's not architecture, engineering, or energy balance. In fact, it's only worth 10 points out of 1,000. But magic happens when these teams sit down together to share a solar meal. So on the table right now, we have our, our Orange County Caprice, which is um, a rustic loaf, multi-grain sourdough. Tonight we had our stormy supper where we started with a baked breeze served with sliced almonds and raspberry preserves. Well, we're starting out with a fall salad because it is autumn, regardless of the fact that it is unbelievably warm. Well, this evening consists of a four-course meal that was uh, designed for us by Chef Alex Geiger of the Public House in St. James, Missouri. 14 homes made 14 meals that would rival most restaurant experiences. The purpose of the dinner parties is to prove these houses are truly functional by entertaining a party of eight, made up mostly of fellow opponents. Could that be a recipe for disaster? Oh, the food was amazing. Definitely one of the highlights of the competition for sure. I just like sitting down like, and just discovering that everyone's, they're real people, you know, that we're, uh, we're all in this. We've all gone through the same thing, uh, but you know, just everyone's a good person and we're just having a good time together and we like to laugh at the end of the day. This is perhaps the best opportunity to have a sit down and get, just mingle with all the other students. I think this is great. I think this is, I think this should do it even three times instead of two. <laughs> Every night. And now, who's on top after four days of accumulating points? As of midday today, Stevens continues to occupy the top of the scoreboard. Missouri S&T has dug in in the second position, while U at Buffalo has overtaken Cal Poly for third place. That's all for today's Solar Decathlon Minute. We'll see you here tomorrow for another update.